not luxury. It's supposed to be luxury. I'll, I'll be top and tailing with a Cambodian gentleman. Hello, I'm Rianne and this is my husband Ben. Cambodia! Hello and welcome back. We're on tour of Georgia's and this is our Cambodia series. We're currently in Savannah Hill trying to make our way back to Thailand. It's going to be a mental two days getting back into Thailand. We're going to have to proper wing it because our times leaving and getting to places are like nearly crossing. So we have to just wing it and see what happens. I just need internet. I just need internet. Can you give me hotspot? What? Who wants internet for hotspot? We haven't got internet. We haven't got a sim. Sorry. We've got UK sim. Thank you. Sorry. So that guy just asked us, he said, please, please, can I use your hotspot? I really need to use your hotspot. Which, honestly, right, I don't mind. It doesn't cost us anything to use our data. But I felt, why did he ask us? Loads of locals walked past him. Yeah. And he was whispering it. Luckily, I thought on the spot. Rianne said that we haven't got data. We don't have a SIM. And then he left us alone. But I just thought, I didn't mind doing it. But then I thought, it's, it's a little bit weird. You've got to watch how it happened, can't it? So. After we did that though, I watched him, he put his phone right in his pocket and just walked off like normal. I think he would have made me get my phone out and then someone would have drove along and took my phone. We don't fall for anything, I'm sorry. Yeah. Unless we're in a cafe or something, we'll help you out. But on the street, no. Yeah, you done well, Ryan. I know, I'm proud of myself. We got a tuk tuk here. It took about 15 minutes and was 7,300 real. Got over an hour till our train arrives, but we had nowhere else to go, so we thought we'll just get here and sit down. As you can see, there is absolutely nothing here. Ben's just finding the ticket on his phone to hand over and get them printed out ready. But otherwise, we're just going to sit here for an hour. We've already done this train ride before, obviously, coming here. We're just doing it leaving, but we think we're on a different train, probably bigger, better, more carts, because we've reserved seats this time, so we're not sure what we're getting. Yeah, do yeah. Need, not need a ticket. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. We're yeah. told to get on the train. It looks like it's the same train as last time, and it's sit where you want, it's just said. Yay. Stuck here, not moving for half 
did originally turn the train off, so we had no air conditioning. But they've now put it back on, but I can't feel any of it. I don't know what's going on, but we just stopped. No, I can see the driver, he's like sat there playing on his phone, so obviously he's waiting for something to be done. I'm not sure if there's something on the line, it's flooded, look at all the water flooded around here. It's finally moving, but there's still something going on, the door's open. Water leaking through the ceiling, it's probably the aircon though. There's that driver. I don't know what's going on, but the door's open, now they've got closed. and we haven't had nothing to eat and we're starving. We should have made it. It closed at 10 and we literally got here at 10. Yeah. Ah, we were so excited as well. We're so gutted. And it seems like everywhere is closed. We don't know, really know what we're going to do. We might have to use the Panda app. We're going to have to check into our hotel and then get something delivered to the hotel and they'll have to call us. We've been to this hotel before. We're back at Phnom Penh, the capital city. We stayed here for a week. So we know it quite well and we've been to this hotel so we know how to get there. So let's get there. Good morning. As you can see, it's the next morning. Our travel day was kind of messed up yesterday because we had originally planned when we got off the train to get a coach, but where the train was delayed two hours, we couldn't and we didn't get here till late 10 o'clock at night. We just checked into this hotel, brilliant hotel, Zing Hotel. It's literally next to the train station and next to the central market. So it's a really good location if you're here on pen just for a short time or maybe even a long time i think it's probably a good area I, here for a while i think it's the best way to go to stay really really good at the moment we've booked a sleeper bus tonight it's not to 9 30 in the morning and we've got to check out our hotel at 12 today where do we go we'll probably go to brown coffee and then amazon coffee but we've got a mental two days of traveling we're getting from here in phnom penh all the way to Pattaya in thailand Hello. in the next two days without staying Hello. at any hotel or accommodation Hello. Hello. Check out. so it's very busy around here now it's like midday so it's like peak busyness yeah this is literally the center of phnom penh We started there because the Wi-Fi is really good and we needed to upload a video. So we've got that done and best frappes, but they are the most pricey. So we always go there if we need to upload a video. Now we're going to move to Cafe Amazon, which is a lot cheaper. And I think we can probably hang in there for about five hours. where we've got our overnight luxury sleeper bus first one we've ever done see what it's like we're at the bus station now we're like an hour early and it is manic i have no idea what's going on so busy i'm trying to sort out for some reason i booked it online they've sat us separately i'm trying to sort out about 18 people just gone in front of me going to be next to each other or we'll go have someone's smelly feet next to us. Oh, I can see some bad news. We'll kick off. We're fed up now. I'm kicking off. 
Which one? That one? Yeah, 10 A and B. <laughs> it's giving you a bag. You don't want to smell your socks. <laughs> you found ours? Oh, yeah. How smart are these? They're like little booths. 10 A and B. There's one there, um, so it's all a cock up. We have no beds and no to go at the moment, and he's got off to try and sort it out. He's like sorting like a pram out. Everyone keeps calling over different things. And the woman said she put us together. Ten A and ten. There. Hey, Yeah. Yeah, you're in there, Ben. It is our room, Ben. Finally, we've got a cabin, we've got a double one down below. We don't know what was going on, but someone else was in it. But we're in it, and we were not going to be bumped off this time because if we were putting them beds at the end, they were terrible, weren't they? Beds are like guys. Yeah, I've got, I've got the lights. Um, yeah, they were like storage at the end. Just stood down there, like sat on like some old mattress. Yeah, this, this is not luxury. It's supposed to be luxury. We've got a double bed, but there's no lights. Um, can't talk to for too long because it is like 10 o'clock at night, and some people are actually sleeping. Yeah. We'll quickly show you around. Also, we've got aircon. Plug sockets here. Yeah. We're using our phones. There's no lights in here. But this is a double cabin. It's totally like basic, albeit you can lie flat and you're on a bus. And it was only $15. Yeah, but originally, so they had done us two seats in a double, a double separate. So I would have lied with someone else and then would have lied with someone else. Yeah, yeah. I would have been top and tailing with a Cambodian gentleman. But the problem was we couldn't even get in there because our friends were in there. No way for us to go. But we're in here now. We're happy. We're going to sit and eat our chicken and rice. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm buzzing for that Yeah. Let's see if we can sit up. Oh, yeah, I can. Can you? I can't stretch my back out. Oh, lymph. I'm all right. You? Bend. Oh, they're actually quite roomy. Yeah, they're not too bad. And I've just noticed we've got pillows. Have we got blankets? Uh, like, sorry, this is like so makeshift, but we've got blankets. Sure. Blankets. It's not too bad. These capsules are really enclosed. I didn't realise a capsule bus. I thought they were open, to be honest. Wait, before everyone says in the comments, like, oh, that's not a luxury bus, oh, don't get. I actually, on the ticket, it actually says luxury bus. You can't really blame me for calling it a luxury bus. That's what it is. So here's our dinner here. We've got some chicken and rice, some sauces, what we've we got? Salt, pepper, some chili yeah, sauce. Looks comfortable, look at Ben. You look comfortable, Ben. It's gonna be fun eating. Yeah, but this is what it is. What it is. At least I can sit up. I can actually sit up. Okay, it's about half one in the morning and we've just stopped off from our first toilet break. And this is the same place we stopped off on the way to Penn. And we did find out there is actually toilets on the yeah, bus. it's actually really nice, but we still haven't been able to get to sleep. Yeah. It's not nothing to do with the bus. Did you pay attention which bus we came off of? No idea. Maybe that one. I thought it was that one. The whole world's waiting for him. We're at the border, we've just been totally pestered for SIM cards and we're making our way to the border. I think it should be pretty simple because we don't really need a visa to get into Thailand. So we're stamped out of Cambodia, we're officially in no country. Now we've got to cross the border and go into Thailand. Hopefully, as Ben said, we don't need a visa so it should be nice and easy. So there is no trains running, it is 7am now. Um, the next one isn't until one o'clock and it takes over six hours. Normally it takes about four hours, but that one's extra long. Um, some guy just said to us there is a bus or coach just 300 yards across, so we're gonna check that out. Should be about 240 baht each. So we might have to go to the cash point, get some money out. We don't know if we can get one to Bangkok or get one straight to Pattaya. I'm so glad to be back in Thailand. The food is the best. I just I can't explain how good it is. Yeah. I had a great time in Cambodia but I am glad to be back here with the 7-Elevens, the great food, the great transport. I'm just happy. But we've got some cash out. We got given like a 2,000 notes. We had to go to 7-Eleven, change it up. Now we're going to see if we can get a bus. But the You have most ticket already? No. No. Oh, guys over there. Over here. We got a bus. So where are we going? Oh, we're going straight there. We've been handed off to like the third person now. Just getting, getting passed around. We have no idea how much it is yet. Let's see what they're charging. Mini bus. 
Pattaya. Yeah, but yeah. how much? 400 baht. 400 baht. Well, for both, one person? One person, yeah. That's a lot, Ben. We got um, the 300. 300 each. Uh, I think you go first and I'll come back to the you one by one. See ya. station that's going to Pattier, I had to jump on the moped, here comes Ben on it. I did think that wasn't our best decision in life to let me go off on the moped with a stranger, but we're here at an actual bus station. Let's make sure we actually get on a bus. It's actually goes smoothly. I'm not very confident with this, but there we go. skeptical about everything but we're going we're going to Pattier hopefully we get there it was 350 baht each so more than we wanted to pay but to be honest I just didn't want to go to Bangkok and then get on another bus pay maybe 100 baht less we've now only got to do one bus I'm tired let's, let's get there I just want to get there now in the journey very very uncomfortable very cramped very tired but we are getting there it's going quite quick it's just very uncomfortable all back on we've made it to Pattier after five hours on that cramped little coach we are here and they just dropped us about 10 minutes walked away so it's worked out ideal. I was a bit negative about going on that bus. Good, In the end, fine. it worked out loads better than we thought it would be. Everyone was really nice and helpful in there as well. Oh, yeah, we I'm got, looking forward to getting to our place now. We got big love for Thailand. We love it so much. And to be back, it feels so good as well. And I'm buzzing for some pad thai. But now we've got a walk and then we'll get to our accommodation and we'll show you around. Because where we're staying, we're staying there for a week and it's got a pool. But we'll show you when we get there. The map's telling us to go down here. It looks a bit shady. It looks like a car park, really. Ben, where are you taking us? The map's taking us. This is where we're staying for the next week. This don't look bad. I was quite like, do you know like, when you look at the pictures when you book it? Uh, so obviously not going to look that. It doesn't look far off the pictures. Wait till we get inside. Fingers crossed. So this is where we're staying for the next seven days. So far, very good impressions. Now he's just got to get in there. Oh, first impression. Smells clean. Bathroom. Bed, balcony, obviously we've got a pool view as well. Fridge, and we've got aircon. Everything else I'll show you in a later video. Let's settle ourselves down and then we'll get something to eat later. Settled in our room, we've got a slight problem. The balcony door will not lock. We've told the lady and she said that someone will be up to sort it because it is a very easy balcony to break into. So we're just heading out to 7-Eleven. There's literally one, what, a two minute walk away? I reckon maybe three. Three? Ooh, far for me. But we're gonna go and grab a couple of bits to get in our room and obviously a frappe and just chill because frappes are dirt cheap here at 7-Eleven. We'll show you. And I didn't know like this is a must try thing from 7-Eleven you have to try the cheese and ham toasty So it's in a plastic bag grab it you give it to them they put it in the toasting machine and voila it's hot oh. Sorry we got interrupted literally the women's just come and fixed our balcony door How good is that service we literally told them what 20 minutes ago and it's a woman that did it see us women don't need men to fixing Very efficient But this is the wild famous toasty I'm not really impressed with it at the moment Is it hot? It's warm, but it's not crispy. Hopefully it tastes better. Mm. I'll give you that. It tastes banger. This costs 30 baht. You can't even buy a loaf of bread in England for that price, let alone buying a sandwich made and toasted in the shop. Brilliant. Next, we've got obviously our favorite frappes, but look at this cup. 
How cool is that? Hello Kitty. I got a chocolate frappe and these are 50 baht each. But we're gonna sit and chill and then we'll get back to you later when it's dinner time because we want to see the pad toy. So we've ended up staying in this evening because someone's got the over there. So we've ordered some food in. Fun gravy. <laughs> All right, too much info. Well, we've ordered some food of the Panda app. We've used it many times before. It is dirt cheap. Um, we're just waiting for it to arrive. Three, man with the food. So as you see, our food had arrived. Ben went down and grabbed it and brought it up. And here is what we got. Ben's got a prawn pad thai and I've got the chicken pad thai. I've got a fried egg on top, nuts in the corner. Let's try this then. I've missed you, Pad Thai. That is amazing. A lot of flavours as always. Got your lime and your bean shoots, and then your nuts there. I'll give it a squeeze all over, mix it all in, add my seasoning, good to go. So we're gonna finish the video here. It has been an extremely long couple of days, and we're shattered. So we're gonna eat our food and have an early night. We're gonna have a day off tomorrow, catch up on some work, and maybe go to the gym. I don't know. We'll maybe. see how we feel. We just found out there is world's biggest 7-Eleven here. So we might do a whole day in a 7-Eleven. What do you think? See you next time. Subscribe. But yeah, at the moment, we've... Oh, I'm gonna fall down these stairs. All right, we've got some chicken rice for our dinner on the... Oh my God, do it again. Okay, so we've got some chicken rice for dinner on the train. Oh my God, bus. All right, again. So, so that got... <laughs> yeah, We're not staying like... there. Sorry. You do it every time. I just want to interrupt Yeah, No, you can do it in a minute.